Yan, what's up mga kaibigan? Tayo ngayon nagbabalik ano, upang magbigay na naman ng panibagong kalaman sa ating mga uh, mabubuting mag-aaral. Ano? Gamit ang ating whiteboard marker, ang ating uh, whiteboard itself, at syempre yung ating eraser. Ano? So ayun, bago tayo magsimula, bago natin ilahad ang ating uh, lesson ngayong araw, ano? kung maaari lamang mga kaibigan, ano? kung maaari lamang, <laughs> Uh, mag-subscribe na kayo sa ating channel ano? at uh, ganun din naman uh, click nyo na yung ating notification bell para naman updated kayo sa mga lessons na ating i-release sa mga susunod na araw ano? and also, syempre para masayang lahat comment, like, and share our videos para naman makatulong tayo sa iba alright, so ayun, good luck guys Right guys, so magandang araw muli mga kaibigan ano? Ang atin ngang tatalakay ngayong araw ay uh, Graphing linear inequality in two variables So when we say two variables, the, it involves X and Y, K or B Basta dalawang variable ang meron tayo sa inequality ano? So uh, ano ba ang itsura ng... Uh, linear inequalities in two variables. Now, let's say, for example, we have uh, inequality in the form of ax plus by less than c. Right? So, that is an example of linear inequality in which the inequality sign is less than. Moreover, uh, same uh, variables and constants, pero na iba lang yung inequality sign, ano? Then, uh, another uh, inequality signs are less than equal, greater than, or equal. Alright, so we have four inequalities na ginagamit commonly. Less than, greater than, less than equal, greater than, equal. So, kapag tayo ay nakakita ng uh, ganitong uri ng inequality, that is a linear inequality in two variables. Variables x and y. Where a, b, and c are all real numbers which cannot be equal to zero. Okay? So, our topic is graphing. No? Paano ba tayo mag-graph ng linear inequalities? Linear equations, madali lang i-graph yan. Uh, that is just a line, ano? You will uh, plot in the uh, Cartesian plane and then connect it. So, makakabuka ng line, that is the graph of linear equation. So, iba tayo, iba naman yung sa linear inequality, ano? So, magbigay tayo ng example. Okay, example number one, mga kaibigan, ano? Let's say we have uh, the inequality y greater than x plus 4. Ayan. So, we have the inequality y uh, greater than x plus 4. Ano? So, we are required to graph the given inequality. Okay? So, the first step here is to make the inequality equation. So, gagawin natin lang equation yung ating inequality. Ano? So, that is, that is our first step. So, step 1. Uh, yung y greater than, gagawin nating uh, y equals, ano? x plus 4. Then, from here, to be able to graph our inequality, we will create a table of values, na? So, same thing na ginagawa natin doon sa linear equations, graphing linear equations, gagawa tayo ng table of values here, na? So, uh, gawa na tayo, values for x and y, ano? So, these are the values for x, these are the values for y. Right? So, um, let's say, uh, mag-start tayo sa negative 3. Negative 2, negative 1, 0, positive 1, positive 2, and positive 3. So, we will find the uh, corresponding y values to be able to plot and graph our equation. And then, uh, analyze natin paano ba yung gamit ng greater than na? Okay? So, if f, if, if f what? is negative 3, so negative 3 plus 4, that is positive 1. Alright? So, y is 1. Next is negative 2, ano? Negative 2 plus 4, that is positive 2. Negative 1 plus 4, that is uh, positive 3, ano? So, 0 plus 4, that is 4. 0 plus 5, so 5, we have 2 plus 4, that is 6. Then, 3 plus 4, that is 7. 
So these are the uh, set of points ano. So our first point is negative 3 1 and so on. Okay? So we can now graph our equation y equals x plus 4. So gawa lang tayo ng Cartesian plane. This is our uh, uh, y axis. And then ito naman yung ating x axis na. So let's say this is 1 2 3 4 5. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4 Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3 and so on Positive 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 Okay, so let us uh, plot the points no? So first point, negative 3, 1 1, 2, 3, then positive 1 This is our first point, negative 3, 1 Right? Next point, negative 2, positive 2 Negative 1, 3 Alright, ito yan 0, 4, so 0, that's 4 1, 5 2, 6 and 3, 7 okay, so if you connect the dots, it should be line na, kasi linear yan eh, linear inequality yan, so dapat kapag ito ay kinunik mo, no that should be a straight line so, nag-approximate lang naman tayo ng mga kaibigan, <laughs> hindi naman yun, hindi naman tumama lahat, kasi nga uh, hindi naman accurate yung ating graph, ano but uh, in a uh, graphing paper or graphing board that should be a straight line okay ngayon kung yan ang equation our line is solid na kasi in graphing linear inequality graph graphs can be uh, solid or dashed line okay so alamin natin kung uh, kailan ba nagiging solid at kailan ba nagiging dashed okay so kung ito ay equation dash line, ano yan, solid line, yan pero in our uh, example number 1 the given is greater than okay, so ganito ang tatandaan natin mga kaibigan ano? listen, look and listen and learn <laughs> if the inequality is greater than saka less than ito ay dashed no? dashed line Ano ba ang itsura ng dash line? Yung gano'n, yung putol-putol na gano'n. Okay? Pero kapag ka naman yung ating inequality ay merong equal sign. Yan, halimbawa, greater than equal or less than equal, ito ay solid. Ano yung solid line? Ito yun, yung solid line. Okay? So, in our first example, the uh, inequality is greater than lang, ano? So, ito lang siya. Ibig sabihin, dashed line dapat ito. Okay? So, burain ko lang ito. Ayusin lang natin yung line natin, no? So, kung yan ay uh, greater than lang, so dash line dapat yan. Ayan. Ganyan itsura niyan, mga kaibigan. Ayan. Good job! Dash line. Yung ating uh, graph, okay? Then ngayon, di, di, hindi pa ito yung final answer natin. Okay? Na-drawing na lang natin yung line. Yung dash line. Pero, uh, since this is inequality, Meron tayong shaded portion and unshaded portion. Okay? Alamin natin kung alin ba dito, kung ito ba yung shaded portion o yung ba yung shaded portion. Kasi dalawa lang, dalahati lang naman sa dalawa yan, di ba? Itong part na to, tsaka itong part na to. Okay? So, uh, balik tayo dun sa ating uh, inequality, ano? Na y, y is greater than x plus 4. Ngayon, mag-a-assign tayo ng value. Na mag-a-assign tayo ng value kung siya kung siya ay uh, magsasatisfy dun sa ating inequality. Let's say for example, dito ko na lang ilalagay, no? Let's say for example, uh, kunin natin to, test natin tong point na to. Alamin natin kung yung point na to ay kasali ba doon sa solution set ng ating inequality. Kapag ito ay kasali sa solution set, meaning ito yung shaded portion. Kapag hindi naman ito kasali, or hindi ito nag-satisfy sa inequality, hindi ito kasama sa solution set. Okay? So, alamin natin, ano? Since 0, 0 yan, 0 daw, ito, gamitin natin ito, ay yung y is greater than x plus 4. y is 0 daw, greater than ba siya? x is 0 plus 4. Okay? So, ang sabi, 0 is greater than 4, which is wrong, ano? So, mali, mali ito. Okay? So, meaning, yung point na 0, 0, hindi siya kasama sa solution set. Right? Ibig sabihin pala, etong part na to, 
Itong ibabaw na to ang shaded portion. Okay, so yung part na to hindi siya shaded portion. Okay, ganun lang tayo mag-graph ng linear inequality into variables mga kaibigan. Ano? Okay, example number 2 tayo mga kaibigan. Example number 2, let's say we have the inequality y is less than or equal x minus 5. Okay? So again, the inequality given is y less than or equal to x minus 5. So same steps, no? Step number 1 is to uh, uh, transform it into equation, no? So that would be y equals x minus 5 para makabuo tayo ng table of values. Okay? So, if you want to create a table of values using your calculator, meron tayo nyan, ano, ahanapin nyo lang yung ating video tutorial regarding the topic para mas mapadali yung inyong pag-create ng table of values, ano. So, gawa tayo ng table of values, values for x and values for y. This is for x and this is for y. Mag-assign ulit tayo ng values for x, let's say negative 3 ulit, negative 2, negative 1, Zero, positive two, positive positive one, positive two, and positive three. So it's up to you, no? Kung anong value yung gusto yung i-set for x, no? Then solve for y. So negative three minus five, that is negative eight. Negative two minus five, negative seven. Negative one minus five, negative six. Zero minus five, negative five. One minus five, that is negative four. 2 minus 5, that is negative 3, and negative 2. So, these are the values of y with corresponding values of x. Okay? So, graph na natin, mga kaibigan. No? Uh, again, let us draw our Cartesian plane. So, napansin natin, no, all values of y are uh, negative. Ano? So, dito ko ilalagay yung x-axis. Right? So, positive 1, positive 2. So, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5. Neg uh, positive 1, positive 2, positive 3, positive 4. Negative 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, para may pakita lang natin, ano? So, plot na natin, negative 3. Ito, negative 3 and negative 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ito siya. Yan. That, that is our first point. Second point, negative 2, negative 7. Negative 2, negative 7. Negative 1, negative 6 0, negative 5 1, negative 4 2, negative 3 3, negative 2 Yan So again, uh, connect the dots So again, that should be a straight line Right? So yung arrowhead na yan, ibig sabihin lamang yan Extended dyan, up to infinity Okay? The next step Alamin natin kung yan ba ay solid or dashed line. Paano? Again, by looking on the inequality given. So, the inequality given is less than or equal. So, meron na siyang equal sign doon. Ano? Meaning, that is solid line. So, tama na. Yung line natin na yan ay solid. Okay? So, again, that is not the final answer yet. Next step is alamin natin kung alin ba yung shaded portion and unshaded portion. Okay? So, assign ulit tayo ng value. Ito na lang ulit, yung original ulit gamitin natin. What if 0, uh, 0, ano? Alamin natin kung yung 0, 0 ba ay kasama sa solution set. Okay? So, palit ulit natin. Y is 0. Less than or equal ba siya? X is 0. Minus 5. Okay? So, 0. Less than or equal ba siya? 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Is 0 less than negative 5? Wrong. So, mali, ano? Hindi siya less than negative 5. Yan. 0 is, is not less than negative 5. Kasi alam natin, negative numbers are always less than 0. So, meaning, itong part na to, hindi siya kasama sa uh, solution set, ano? Okay mga kaibigan, ito hindi ito kasama sa solution set kasi nga yung uh, uh, origin or yung 0,0 na point ay hindi nagsatisfy doon sa ating uh, linear inequality. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito yung part na shaded. Okay? 
So shade yun, ano, shade yun. Mahirap lang. Kaysa naman i-shade natin ang buo yan, ano, magsasayang tayo ng tinta. So, uh, itong uh, pag-guit-guit ko na yan, ibig sabihin lamang, shade din itong part na to, ano. Para lang maibigay natin yung konsepto. Alright? So, that that is how we graph linear inequality, mga kaibigan, ano. Uh, practice pa kayo. Madali lang naman ito. So, sundin nyo lang yung series of steps na binigay ko. And then, you'll be able to uh, graph the linear inequality given on your activity. Okay? So, kita-kita, kita-kita, kids. What did you say, nigga? <laughs> kita, kids, sa uh, susunod nating video, mga kaibigan. And hopefully, ay natutuwa kayo sa ating tutorials, ano. Ayan, and uh, God bless, mga kaibigan. See ya.